Uh, to the phone. It's Benjamin and Wheatland. Hey, Benjamin. Hey, guys. What's up? Um, you were talk- uh, you've talked multiple times about the need for a small percentage of vigilante justice in our society. Indeed, which we would be more than happy to, uh, to judge uh, the proper amount of, yes. Well, we actually, in the American judicial system, have a, uh, a way of determining how much there should be and whether somebody did the right thing or not. And that's jury nullification. And there's lots of information about it. Um, and it's uh, been a long-standing tradition in our uh, judicial system. How often does that happen? Uh, you know, it doesn't happen as often as it should because judges actually, uh, you know, kind of lie and mislead the jurors, telling them that they need to judge the facts of the case only. But in reality, they're allowed to judge both the situation, um, the, the law itself, whether it was a just law or not. They're the final check and balance on the rest of our political system. Huh. I didn't know that. You I know, guess I did know that, but I hadn't thought about it. I, I have heard people say, oh, yeah, it's, it's okay, it's legal. I've heard, uh, heard other people say that's a ridiculous Internet myth. Uh, but oh. we, you know what? It's an intriguing question, Benjamin. I'll look into it. Yeah, I mean, there's well, there's, no, there's certainly nothing that a, a judge can do, is there? If a jury, well, we saw that with the Robert Blake case. Sure. If a jury comes back and says, "Ah, eh, we think they're uh, the guy is uh, innocent," even though all the facts show he's guilty, what are you going to do? All a judge can say is, "Why I oughta." And that's it. You're the jury. Well, what happens? The idea is that if the jury is hung, then they can retry the case, but. Uh, you know, it, because you know they could have the jury could have been hung. But with. nullification requires everybody to agree. No, it just requires one person to say to kind of hang the jury, as it were. But the idea. Yeah, but is if you if you if you if you out loud say, I just don't think he did it, and I'm not going to vote for it. The other jurors can get you booted out, and they get the replacement, don't they? Uh, well, no, no. Actually, that's the where they can't mess with you. If you say, I if don't you're like being this unreasonable, law, you, you can say, I just don't like the law and don't want to oh. apply it. You, well, you, no, I, I don't. I think you will get tossed off for saying that. Hmm. If you say, "I don't think the guy did it," they didn't prove their case. No, they can't toss well, you off. Well, no, that, that I understand. Right? But, okay, but you can't say, well, "I'm I'm going to say he didn't do it because I just don't I don't like the situation. I think the guy had it coming to him." You can't say that. For instance, they did. They'd replace you, wouldn't they? Go ahead, Benjamin. Well, you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to. No, yeah, but you don't. Have to, if you're smart, you don't say that out yeah, loud. But what if you did? But the idea is, let's say, uh, uh, let's take the example used yesterday. Uh, someone goes and uh, beats up their molester from when they were a child. And well, we understand exactly what you're talking about. Right. But what, what I'm saying is that you hang the jury, and then the prosecutors have to decide, is it worth doing this over and over and over again? Right. And then if, if you keep getting hung juries on um, you know particular kinds of cases, then they're not going to continue to reach the to, to, to take those cases to court. Yeah, but, but see, now uh, if you if you t- if you go and beat up the wrong person, you still have a chance of going to jail. So right. you're still being judged. Right. Now, but what I don't get though is that you you guys uh, and the people who send us emails say, "Oh yeah, you can do it. It's a long trip. Well, I know you can do it, and it has the effect of you let the person off, but it's not like it's an actual legal doctrine. It's just it's it's civil disobedience. Well, the Supreme Court's talked about it. Um, I can't remember the uh, name of the first Supreme Court justice, but he talked about how important it was. Holly versus that, Frazier. That, <laughs> that, that people do it. And in fact, there are a few states, and I know of specifically New Hampshire, where they're going to... Uh, well, I'm afraid we're out of time. <laughs> Live free or die! <laughs> well, they're passing a law that judges are required to tell the jurors of their rights. Right, right, right. Interesting. Sure. All right, Benjamin. Thanks, buddy. Do you know the NFL case is actually Brady versus the National Football League? Because they go with the first name on the list, and Tom Brady's got the lowest uh, letter on the... I just hope he gets his damned haircut before he goes before the judge. You know, there's, there's, there's a dignity in a courtroom. More intricate, arcane, legal uh, discussions coming up on Last Call. Metrosexuals and nullifications and such. Shocking. <laughs> Actually, anything you want to talk about at one 331 talk You happy we're in another sand country war? Anybody yeah. buy tickets to the Charlie Sheen show? one 331 talk You are listening to the Armstrong and Getty Show.